Hi friends and welcome back to the channel. I'm just a human eating plants where I show you all the tips and tricks and the easy ways to keep your diet and your lifestyle simple and eat more plants. Today we're going to talk about food labels and how to understand them, what they mean, and what you want to look for. In order for food to get that USDA organic seal, it must meet two criteria. Either it is 100% organic, which means all the ingredients are grown and processed organically, or it means that at least 95% of the ingredients are grown and processed organically. The other remaining 5% must be made from ingredients specified in the NOP regulations for which an organic alternative is not available. You'll also see food with the label made with organic ingredients. That means at least 70% of those ingredients were grown and processed organically. You also want to look for that non-GMO project stamp. That means that from seed to shelf, that food has not been altered or genetically modified. That USDA organic stamp is what you really want to see though, because organic means non-GMO. Non-GMO doesn't mean organic. And we always want to get the organic. It comes without the side effects of the pesticides. You're still going to get your nutrients and your vitamins from all your produce. But when you buy it organically, you're getting it without side effects. And another way to figure out is if, if it is organic or not is look at that barcode. Conventionally grown produce has a four digit barcode. Organically grown produce has a five digit barcode. You're going to see a number nine in the front. The EWG, the Environmental Working Group, puts out the dirty dozen, or really the dirty 15 and the clean 15 every year. And those are the foods that test the highest and lowest for sprayed pesticides. You definitely want to stay away from the ones on that dirty list and only buy organic. Those are going to be strawberries, spinach, greens, nectarines, peaches, apples, pears, grapes, cherries, bell and hot peppers, tomatoes, and celery. Another one that's not on the list though that a lot of people consume is coffee. I recommend always getting organic coffee if you do drink it. It gets overlooked sometimes. But you don't want to buy organic just for yourself. You want to buy organic for the farmers so they're not spraying those chemicals. For the animals so they're not getting the chemicals. For our land and for our soil and for our water and the whole of our community. None of us need the chemicals. Also, you want to check that list for the clean 15. When you can't buy organic, that clean 15 will help you decipher what's good and what's not, what to spend the money on when you can, and if you can't. I'll leave a list of the clean 15 below. As consumers, we drive up the demand for what we buy. Stop buying non-organic produce. Drive up the demand for the organic they'll be forced to produce more. Most people won't eat something that fell on the floor, but don't think twice about going to the grocery store and buying a bag of apples that have been sprayed with pesticides and chemicals that lead to numerous ailments, diseases, and illnesses. We have to wake up and realize we don't want chemicals in our food. You would be appalled if the next time you were out eating in a restaurant, if they came over and started spraying and cleaning your table while you were still sitting there eating your food. We have to do better. We have to demand better. It's up to us. It's in our hands. This is our land and our earth. Let's take better care of it. Not just for us, but for our community as a whole. Please like, Comment, share, and subscribe. Drop the labels unless you're looking at food. And let's all just be humans eating plants. Until next time.